Hi everyone, this is Saurabh Pandey once again and this time I am back with uh, a webinar on three Google Analytics dashboards to impress your top management. Now the question that you may have in your mind is about the dashboards. What are dashboards and why do we need them? So simply speaking, a dashboard is essentially a format uh, for displaying critical data in a meaningful and easily comprehensible way. Understand it in this way, when you drive a car, your car has a dashboard and you see some critical data in your dashboard. You don't see all the data in the dashboard. You see very specific data which is required for you to run the car smoothly, right? So that data is seen by you in a very user-friendly interface and that's the functioning of a dashboard. A dashboard shows you critical data in a very user-friendly way, to simply speak. Now, why do we need a dashboard? We need a dashboard firstly because in your organization, there is a complete information black hole, which means you have a lot of data that is coming your way from your websites, from your mobile apps, uh, and from other digitally integrated mediums. And you don't know where that data has to go and how that data has to be assimilated and what actions you have to uh, you know, execute on that data. So there is a complete black hole of information out there and that is why it's important to create dashboards. Number two, dashboards show most relevant data. So often a huge volume of data is useless. You should focus on critical key data that is relevant for your business. And a dashboard does exactly that. It shows only the critical data. Thirdly, dashboards also indicate towards the next course of action. So primarily dashboards are created for specific departments and uh, each department will get a dashboard with relevant information. And when department-wise information is segregated into dashboards, of course departments find it easier to act upon that information. So that is why dashboards make your analysis actionable and that is why we need a dashboard. Right. Now before we get on to creating dashboards or before we get on to creating dashboards within Google Analytics, it's important to understand and define who are the stakeholders. Right? Who are the stakeholders who are going to receive their dashboards? That is number one. Number two, what data would they need every day or every fortnight or every week? And third, what are the key performance indicators or key metrics and dimensions that have to be highlighted in the dashboards? Right, so that is important and this has to be defined before a dashboard is created. Now let's understand metrics and dimensions also because a lot of people, a lot of students, a lot of marketers that I meet often get confused between metrics and dimensions. To, to explain to you in a very simple way, understand that metrics are anything that can be counted or anything that can be represented as a ratio or as a percentage. For example, number of sessions is, is represented as numbers. Goal value is represented in currency, in rupees or in dollars, etc. Bounce rate is represented in percentage. So all these are metrics. On the other hand, dimensions describe the metrics. So they tell more about the metrics. For example, sources of traffic. Sources of traffic cannot be counted. They cannot be represented as percentage or ratios. Right. 
they are essentially direct traffic, referral traffic, organic traffic and sources of traffic as a dimension is used to describe your total traffic on the site. Similarly, location or top landing page, etc. are also dimensions. Both metrics and dimensions are important to give a complete picture to an analysis or to a number. So just by saying that my site receives 1 million visits in a month uh, does not do anything. It's a half-baked information. But when you add dimension to it and you say that 50% of my 1 million visits come from social, 30% comes from organic search and 20% comes from referral, then it gives a much more fuller picture about your sessions or traffic. So now let's get ready to create three dashboards and what we are doing here is we are uh, kind of departmentalizing the organization. We are saying that okay we are going to create three dashboards for three departments. The first department is the CEO department. The CEO essentially also implies the CXOs or the top management. So all the top management people are going to get one dashboard. The second dashboard goes to the CMO, the chief marketing officer or to the marketing team. And the third department is the tech and design team. So it's a CTO department and there is a third dashboard which is essentially going to entail metrics and dimensions around tech and design right so now the ceo of your organization or the top management in your organization they do not want to receive loads of data every day they just want to have a tab on very few and most critical data sets on a daily basis if they want deeper insights they'll call you and understand from you Right. So once in a while they might get into the deeper aspects but on a daily basis, on a fortnightly, weekly basis, even on a monthly basis they would want to keep a tab on the most critical outcomes and largely they would be fascinated by the ROI which means the goals right? and a little bit about your traffic trend. So which is why when I designed the CEO dashboard or the CXO dashboard, the you can see very few you know metrics here so number one is traffic and new users trend number two is top pages number three is goals by source goals by geo geo means geography and then goals by traffic type so I think the CEO should be happy with this kind of a dashboard and for the CMO it's a little bit more comprehensive because the CMO is in or, or the marketing team is responsible for traffic generation, traffic optimization, engagement of the traffic and the action which is the ROI. So a CMO dashboard will be all encompassing ranging from traffic trends to engagement metrics like you know page views and session duration uh, and also in terms of their brand visibility so we can have another metric uh, which is traffic by branded search or non-branded search coming onto the site and then ROI matrices like goals by geography, type of traffic and city and, and then, uh, you know campaigns or otherwise and plus of course they would have all the CEO dashboard elements also coming into the picture so pretty comprehensive one a CTO dashboard as you can see is more concerned with the site latency and the site uh, design optimization with respect to the devices and screen resolution etc. So these are the three departments that we have outlined and we have also outlined as a second step the metrics and dimensions that they should be uh, knowing about on a daily basis and now we are ready to get into the Google Analytics dashboard. Right, so, so while you can see a screenshot here, but don't worry, we are soon going to have a live demonstration of you know how it looks. Uh, essentially, when you get into your Google Analytics in a specific view, 
then below customization on your left hand side panel you will find dashboards when you click on the dashboard you will see that you have an opportunity to create new dashboards or to view uh, you know other dashboards that are already created and when you you know uh, create a dashboard new dashboard then within the dashboards you will have a lot of widgets or a lot of charts and graphs through which you can show the metrics and dimensions of a specific department so you can add a lot of widgets within a dashboard by clicking on add widget right and when you click on add widget here are the types of formats of information that you can display you can also choose dimensions and metrics right and uh, in our live presentation just now we will show you how we're going to create dashboards and how the CEO dashboards looks like or the CXO dashboard looks like and other dashboards look like so just stay on a while and we're going to start that very soon in the meanwhile uh, all these dashboards can easily be implemented by you also so you don't have to create these dashboards from scratch just write into me I'll send you the links to these dashboards and you can easily integrate with the neural analytics and start immediately without doing anything start using those dashboards for your own organization start editing them start customizing them as per your needs and also automate them all the dashboards can be automated so automatically reports can be sent out to the department just write in to me at saurabh.converse.com and I'll send you those dashboards okay so now this is the analytics account that we have and you can see all you know the controls on your left hand side panel and you can see something called as a customization uh, you can click on customization and you can reach dashboards and within dashboard you can create a dashboard you can also see the dashboards that we've already created and you can also reach out to the Google Data Studio where uh, you know you can get pre-created dashboards pre-created reports already for free so you can try your hands out there as well and uh, you know when you create when you click on create then you have options of starting from a blank canvas or you can start with a you know predefined template whichever way you want you can just create a dashboard or import something from the gallery the free Google reports and the free dashboards that are already created now in today's webinar we have already created our dashboards right so let's check them out and let's understand how we created those dashboards the first one is the CEO or the CXO dashboard that we talked about uh, you know you have about four charts here for a CXO which he can or she can look at every day and as discussed we wanted the CXO to know largely about the ROI largely about the goals right and so in this dashboard you can see uh, this is a goals dashboard by city so the CXO can check out which cities contribute to the goals and which cities contribute to the new user acquisitions also right so this is fairly fairly insightful fairly useful similarly through this graph through this widget you can check out you know uh, which source of traffic contributes to the goal most the CXO can also track the users and new users traffic trend on a daily basis and can also check out what is the composition of this traffic in terms of direct referral organic or paid now each of these graphs or charts that you can see are called as widgets so whenever you create a dashboard you first put a name to that dashboard like I have put 
the name as CXO dashboard and then I start adding my widgets right so when I click on uh, let's say widgets here then I get this template in front of me and now I can either choose a standard or a real-time uh, data that I want to show right so generally I think we would show a uh, standard data unless it's an e-commerce company and where we want to show some data like uh, you know items sold on a real-time basis or otherwise generally I think standard would work for us so we just need to put a name to it so let's say we want to see goals by cities okay and let's go to table the timelines will show you trend over a period of time the geo map will show you locations right pie chart and bar charts of course pie chart will show you compositions right and so on so so you understand how the data can be formatted and can be presented choose your uh, best format that you would want to work with in our case for goals by cities you can choose geo maps also or you can choose tables and within dimension of course a city is a dimension right and a metric would be my goal completion okay if I want I can choose one more metric or I can just leave it like that and save it and when I save it you know my widget my chart is produced here in the dashboard like this right so you can see which cities contribute to the goals so it's fairly insightful and in the earlier chart earlier widget I had two metrics one was the goal completion and other was new user so you can play with the widget as you want right similarly if you see the CXO dashboard goals by traffic type let's understand how we did that again we come here where the name of this chart is CXO dashboard goal by traffic type you know we are now using a pie chart and in a pie chart format we want to show goal completions by traffic type okay so which source of uh, which type of traffic contributed to our goals right so we can see that uh, you know, direct traffic is contributing mostly to 45.6 percent to our total goal completions right so similarly let's now move on to another dashboard that we have created so the first dashboard that we created was for the CEO or the CXO who was largely concerned with the ROI and goals metrics and little bit of trend on a daily basis about traffic right and if the CXO wants to go deeper of course he would ask or she would ask for that data and one can of course give them uh, you know much more deeper data sets for example a CMO or your marketing head or your marketing team would need an even more deeper data set even more comprehensive dashboard than the one you created for the CXO so you can see this has a lot more uh, widgets or charts than the CXO and of course because a marketing head or a marketing team would want to get a much deeper insight into what's happening on the website so here as you can see one of the first charts is about new users versus all users okay so how many new acquisitions are we doing every day versus the total users who are coming onto our site and uh, 
sessions by source of traffic which source of traffic is contributing how much to our total traffic base right so we can see Facebook is leading the pack followed by Google and so on similarly we want to see sessions by city which cities are contributing to our uh, sessions overall we can see the west and the southern cities are really contributing much more than other cities compared we can also see average duration and pages per session now average session duration and pages per session uh, are a great indicator for engagement on the site right as, right as we earlier discussed as well so it's important for a marketing team to understand what's the trend of average session duration and pages per session right very simple so I'll keep on clicking a few graphs for you to understand how we create the dashboard very simple you created a dashboard you said okay I want to create a new dashboard which is CMO right and within the dashboards there are a lot of widgets and this widget is average duration of session and pages per session we wanted to see it on a timeline on a daily basis we choose two metrics which can be compared metrics as you already know are terms with numbers right so average session duration and pages per session both are numericals they both can be compared and here we go right similarly now we come to goals also uh, we now need to see the overall trend of goal completions how the goal completions look like over a period of one month or two months or a quarter right we can see that at a glance we want to see how the goal completions happen by source of traffic that also we can know here and we see again that direct traffic followed by Facebook and then followed by Google contribute largely to our goals similarly we can do goals by city also right I can show you how we did this very easy to do right come back to add widgets when you add your widget you need to put your title click on table and then we have to choose a dimension which is city and right we can just put city here right and then what do what else do we want to know we want to know goal completions so fair enough I can just type in here goal completions and it will automatically uh, show us right and the goal completion is the term that we are using in our uh, in analytics dashboard when you are using creating goals then you can create whatever name you want and it will show up here right very simple and just save it from here the moment you save it you can see which cities are contributing to our goals and by how much another very interesting data set is about the branded search or the non-branded search okay now non-branded search are those search queries which do not contain our brand name and people discovered our website through those search queries and came on to our website so we can look at which are the search queries through which people discovered us and we can find the list of those search queries here and the number of sessions also here right so essentially this is a CMO dashboard that we can receive every day right so this is a dashboard name you can add more widgets you can share it from here right as a link uh, or within someone's analytics dashboard itself right in the view part and you can also put it in the solutions gallery from where people at large can access your report so you make it public as a template for example you can email right as a PDF and you can set your frequency daily weekly monthly quarterly etc okay 
or you can just export it as a PDF from here on, right? You also have the ability to customize your dashboard in terms of how it should look like. The entire thing is divided into this, you know, four slots or three slots or two slots, right? So we change the layout and look at how it looks like. And so you can just play with your dashboard, right? So let's go back to dashboard once again and see another dashboard that we created, right? So you can create your dashboards from here. This is a CTO dashboard that we're going to look at now. Now from a CTO's perspective, we have kept it fairly short and simple. And uh, we have focused on very, very clear metrics like the devices, that people use to access our website, the screen resolutions that people by default have when they access our website, and the default browsers from where most of the traffic comes, and very importantly, is there a correlation between the page load time and the bounce rate, or the bounces, right? So these are fairly critical uh, matrices for a tech, leadership or a tech team that you may have in your company and they can receive it every day and uh, you know uh, only then they can take an action if they don't receive data in a lot of organizations the data is restricted to few people and but if you you know uh, spread out the data and uh, take some pains in terms of creating valuable data for select audiences, then that audience will appreciate it and audience will help you in making decisions. So now the tech team can actually help you by looking at this data and telling you, you know, where the site can be improved and how they can contribute towards improving your site. As you can see here, if I wanted to, you know, add a widget here, uh, you know, which one, which would show me that uh, which devices contribute to sessions and goals that would be fairly fairly critical insightful for me so I click on table and then I click on device category in the dimensions and in metrics I can choose two I will choose sessions and I will choose goal completions here right and then I can just save it and I can see that mobile essentially contributes the most towards sessions as well as towards the goal completions right and uh, tablets are distant third so we need to really see that our website are mobile optimized and we need to do our marketing a lot more on mobile platforms Similarly, in terms of screen resolutions, you can see that 360 by 640 contributes largest to sessions and goals also, right? So we need to see our website looks the best, completely optimized for this resolution. And uh, here we can see by browser, which are the browsers our audiences use, right? And same ways, I mean, I'm just clicking on edit and trying to show you how we did this. It's fairly easy. You can do it yourself. In sessions, in dimensions, you need to choose browsers. And in metrics, you can choose sessions and goal completions because that's what you want to measure against browsers, right? So we can see Chrome and very closely followed by Android. Actually, Android, if you see, is contributing most to the goal completions. So, so very quickly, let's reiterate what we learned. You can find dashboards under customization in the left-hand panel of your Google Analytics account. When you click on dashboard, you have an option to create a dashboard, right? Or you can also go to Google Data Studio and then try out different formats of dashboards and just import them easily here. Within, when you create a dashboard, within a dashboard, there are various widgets. I think about 14 widgets per dashboard that you can use. Uh, 
uh, and you know please be very very uh, you know discerning when you are choosing your widgets don't uh, make dashboard an overload of data only put very critical data into it so you can add a widget here when you add a widget you get a dialog box where you have various formats that you can choose and then you can choose your dimensions and metrics and just create your charts your tables your pie charts etc so we created three dashboards today you know for for three departments and that is how you should do you should create dashboards for departments because each dashboard will have specific data sets that will be of use for that department mostly and we created CTO, CMO and CXO dashboards. CXO dashboards generally would be uh, you know shallower in terms of the number of widgets but definitely insightful in terms of the critical matrices that we're going to put, put in here. CMO dashboards would be much more elaborate because ultimately a CMO is responsible for the traffic, the engagement and the action which is the ROI. So all three aspects of business the CMO or the marketing teams are responsible for. So this would be a fairly large uh, dashboard to look at. A CTO dashboard would again be uh, you know lighter in terms of the number of widgets but again critical because they would look at things like site speed, uh, things like traffic coming from which resolution, screen resolution, browser type and device type and they can help us with their own uh, recommendation about how to improve engagement and conversions. So that's it for today. Uh, write to me at saurabh at dot converse dot com. Thank you.